Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like our old days. It is, isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Back in the check presentation uh, area, uh, get a comfy chair because this introduction is going to take a while. Envision Financial, Valley First, Enderby and District Financial, Island Savings Divisions of West, no, First West Credit Union. Oh man, I got it all in. Anita Kauser is with me right now. She's going to be the spokesperson for the group. And tell me, um, how, do you, how did you get involved with Children's Hospital and why Children's Hospital? Um, my, myself personally, uh, we know people who have used the services, uh, unfortunately, of Children's Hospital, fortunately and unfortunately, but um, as a company, we also just love to help the community. And we like to, to point out always that even though Children's Hospital is here in Vancouver, as you can tell by all of your divisions here, it's all over the province. It sure is, yeah. And uh, as we like to represent all the communities uh, around BC, so does BC Children. So we really uh, love the fact that we can come here whenever we need to. Let's talk about the check. How, um, how did you raise the money? Uh, most of it was done through our um, Jeans Day. Uh, this year was the 25th anniversary of Jeans Day. So we actually put out a contest out there for uh, 25 prizes for everybody that uh, signed up. Uh, as well as our slippage tournament, we raised over $5,000. Right. Tell me about something that's coming up here. Uh, Bats for Cause in Kelowna. Yeah, the uh, Valley Blue Jacket Bombers are going to be joining with our credit union partners and uh, hoping to raise more money for that. Terrific. Let's see what you got on the check here. Right. Flip it over, kids, and we'll see what we got. $22,556.69. Wow. Anita, thank you very much. Thank you, Wayne. I'm here with Val Mackey and she's the uh, chair of the Credit Union's Insurance and Financial Services Committee, which, very fancy title, what do you do to raise money for BC Children's Hospital? Uh, we, we come together collectively, we're involved in slow pitch tournaments, uh, jeans days, uh, bake sales, jersey raffles, so we collectively come together and raise lots of money. Throughout the entire year and this is kind of the big reveal, right? Yes. And that's why we brought in the big guns. So uh, we've got some very special people with some very special pictures that are going to help Val and I reveal just how much money you guys were able to raise. Okay, so are we going to get started? All right, here we go. First number is six, four, eight, three, three, four. Yeah, Wayne, did you get that total? $433,000 and counting. Thank you so much, Val. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Jogan Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born, it was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home, and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment. So I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. 
It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right. We gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero, zero eight, eight. Thank it's you very much, British Columbia. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful lies. You can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, oh yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above